Striding in, Alex Gordon. He'll get us started in this one the under the lights. The center fielder, number four, Alex Gordon. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the plate. The 0 and 1 delivery. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. No and they'll try to one tempt ball, him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's 1-2. and two. Well, as we're in Seattle, may have some rain in the picture later on, but for now, 59 oh, okay. degrees at first pitch. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Three and two, a full count to the Royal center fielder. Boy, went from being in the driver's seat to now being in some trouble. Had the count 0 and 2, started nipping at the corners, and next thing you know, this count stands at three and two. Popped up. And there's out number one. A chance now, who stands out? Well, if you're on the mound, you better be careful with Michael Franco. He doesn't let the pressure of the big moment get to him. I love watching this guy hit in clutch situations. It's like he takes a deep breath and everything stops in front of him. He plays like the Zen man. Whit Merrifield next to hit. And it's grounded just foul down the line. One out, nobody on. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. Gonzalez has a reputation as a strike thrower, although that doesn't often result in a ton of strikeouts. A typical start may find him with a low walk total and the ball in play a lot. Matty, he's what they call today one of those pitch-to-contact kind of guys. He has good stuff, not great stuff. He relies a lot on his defense and one of the keys, he's not afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. With that said, he needs some defense behind him because he's not going to get a whole lot of swings and misses. Now to the plate, Adalberto Mondesi. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. But it bends just foul into the second deck. Oh. And there's ball one. Sent on the ground out to second. Scooped up. Throw on to first. Gets him and the side is retired. Royals go down one, two, three. Now it'll be the M's turn. No score. Settling in now, D. Gordon. He'll lead things off here in the bottom Leading half up. of the first. The designated hitter, D. Gordon. Now here's the pitch. Oh. 
count 1-0. The 1-0. Finds the zone, strike one. Well, they'll run this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late, and you can't even put a good swing on it. And it's fouled away. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Still a ball and two strikes. The next one-two pitch. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt. What you want coming out of the gate is a pitcher, right? You don't want to have to show all of your pitches this early on in the game, but that's a quality at bat. And what does it make you do as a pitcher? You have to use a lot of your pitches, and the more pitches a hitter sees, the better chance they have to make good contact. Three and two, a full count to the Mariners' designated hitter. What an amazing A-B right here, and what a message it sends to your entire lineup. This guy knows out on the mound he's going to have to battle today. This is on the ground over to first. And there's one away. And now a quick look at the Mariners starting lineup in this one. Mark what do you have on this group in front of the home crowd tonight. Well Matty we know this is a pitcher's park. The numbers bear it out. Look for the managers to play a part in this one. Hopefully the guys listened in the hitters meeting. They're going to stay up the middle big part of the yard. But when they get on, look for some wheels in motion, some execution, trying to manufacture some runs. I think that's how this lineup will play it out. Kyle Lewis comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. and And the pitch. Ball left outside. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Boy, what a time to pull the string on him. On 2-0, there's no way anyone's thinking changeup. So if you can locate it, that's pretty much unhittable. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to 3-1. and one. And he missed with that one. It's ball four, a one-out walk here in the home first. Man, the pitcher's wondering how he didn't get that call. Busted him inside on a 3-1 count, and the ump thought it was just a tad off the plate. Tough to get the benefit of the doubt from the umpire when you fall behind in a count like that, though. So a runner on first with one out now. And into bat next, the third baseman, Kyle Seeger. Comes set, now the pitch. And they start him with one high and away for ball one. Lewis leads off first with one away. Popped him up. Lopez is there. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. Next for Seattle, Ty France. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. From the stretch. And a fastball misses here to start the at bat. It's 1 0. A ball and a strike. A runner on first with two away. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. From the belt. Kicks and deals. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Fouled away. Throws three. him for strike three, and that retires the side. 
Mariners leave one. We are still scoreless. Second inning set to go, and now it'll be the catcher, Salvador Perez. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Line to shortstop, and there's one away. Okay, here's how the Mariners are going to line up defensively. And let's focus on Kyle Seeger right here. Former Gold Glove third baseman plays a reliable third base I think something that he does better than anybody is his ability to come in on those swinging bunts or guys trying to lay a bunt down on him he has the ability to have such soft hands and make that off balance throw to first base and he falls behind 0 and 2. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's one and two. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. The count now at two and two. Pitch on the way. That was swing and a miss. He struck him out, and it's two up, two down to start the second. And that brings in Hunter Dozier. First pitch of the at bat. And a ball 1 0. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. And he fouls this one off. And there's ball two now. Count even at two and two. And the pitch. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. KC down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score.